come with me, Gabriela. It is peaceful at the other side. Where are they now when you meet them? Where are your so called friends? Come with me. The road is cold, but not this place. A wise woman once said, there are very few things in life worth fighting for. Chief on the list is someone to love, someone to laugh with, someone to cry on and to support. There is definitely a word for it, friend. For indeed, there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Uh, in Dubai, you people are welcome. Hmm? Uh, we have come for the naming ceremony of our grandson. <laughs> uh, he that brings color does not bring life, but he says, Let life continue. Yes. <laughs> and uh, here is salt. As uh, salt makes food to be tasty, this boy's life will be meaningful. Yes. So, as we are breaking this cola knot today, we are agreeing with the father that uh, everything about his son will be moving smooth. Yes. Long life, yes. prosperity, yes. and the birth of this Pekin, our grandson, we bring wealth to the parents. Hey. He, he's looking like uh, Gabriela and uh, brother uh, Gabriel yes, when sir. they were born. Mm. <laughs> he looks like me. Which you? Ah, roasted you. <laughs> Maybe you were referring to when, you were, when, when you were young. <laughs> Please, 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 please. Give me my grandson. Grandma! Hey. Tell me hey. my grandmother. That's what it is. You are a grandmother. Baby. <laughs> Baby. Hey. Hey. Before Gabriela will come and carry him away. Ha! Ah. Look at ah. this fine face, eh? Hey. The yeah. Lord has blessed me. Where, where is the mother, sir? Hey. <clears throat> no. 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 No, <laughs> and he can smile. Eh? I like that one. That. No, no, that is me. Eh? No, yeah, that's a mom. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me they gave me, Papa. Baby, so cute. <laughs> He looks like your brother's son. What do you think? <laughs> when I feel such a cutie, though. Oh. <laughs> But I beg to differ. Huh? He doesn't look like us. See now, he has the mother's <laughs> nose. So cute. He doesn't look like you. Ah. He looks like me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, babe, has Calvin called? Oh, no, uh, Sandra called. Said they're on their way. Oh, okay. okay. What did she say? Um, it means that my nephew is such a miracle baby. <laughs> Baby is not even up to three months and is already calling. Oh, Smart no, boy. Uh, uh, Kevin is just uh, Gabriela's best friend. Mm -hmm. Our baby is your namesake. Oh, uh, and you, you you named him after him? Yeah. Oh, uh, your uh, wife, uh, male friend? Oh, yeah. It was instrumental in the birth of our baby. Huh? Instrumental? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> what he meant is that. He's the one that delivered the child. Oh, the doctor. The doctor. Oh, the doctor. <laughs> okay, the doctor. What's up, people? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Formidable in the building. <laughs> 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 I thought you never.
I'm not sure for my godson's Christmas. Oh, come on, that's not possible. Mm-hmm. 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 Your wife's best friend's name. Who does that? <laughs> really, Auntie? That's why you called me here? Auntie Kelvin is a common English name. Anybody can be a Kelvin now. Uh, their friendship seems uncommon. <sighs> Shouldn't females be uh, uh, best friends of females? Auntie, Kelvin is just a good friend to Gabriella. That's all there is to it. One that shouldn't be trusted. Uh. Auntie, me and Kelvin, we have come a long way. Since school days. Uh, is that why he's looking like that? Looking like what? Uh, he looks like a Yahoo boy with uh, Chikolo tendencies. Oh, no, Auntie. Everybody looks suspicious to you. I mean, this guy is into media and he has to look the job. Okay. I will advise you to do a DNA test. You can't be too careful these days, oh. Auntie, I love my wife. That's all the DNA test I need, really. Haven't you heard that? The elderly sees far, wide, even while sitting down. Hmm? Auntie, you should be seated in the living room, enjoying this beautiful day with your grandnephew. Uh, I beg. Uh, uh, Evers. Come on, you bum. Eh? Wanna be with you, cause I feel so safe with you. Wanna share my life with you, spend my whole life with you. Live or die beside you, go through life with you. Share this world alone with you. Baby, I love you. My life is empty without you, baby. Dr. Shalewa Ajayi. My favorite baby sister, the smart one of the family. How are you doing today? Emma, help me. Don't help me. You don't even have an idea how much I miss you. And I can't even get to see the new addition to the family. Oh, we miss you too. Would have been good to have you around here though. But um, we believe you are together with us in the spirit, Abby. <laughs> well, how's the cutie doing? And I hope you're not stressing the new baby. Sherry, I would have called you on video call and to everybody. Uh, well, uh, that would take the whole day if you try to make a video call because we have a full house here. I mean, Auntie Angela, see around uh, your friends, uh, my friends, Kelvin, and a couple of others. Man. I'll just send your regards to them. I'll tell them you called, eh? Ruth, I have to go to work now. I'm rushing. <sighs> okay, I'll send your regards to her. Guys, marriage is blissful when you find the right person that effortlessly completes you, hmm. like my wife. Hmm. <laughs> Do you really feel complete, brother? Yeah, I mean, uh, truth be told, yeah. yeah. Gabriella is the best girl any man could ever get married to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Evans knows that. Without yeah. the question, see logo. Sandra, could you please come and sit here with Evans while I sit with Kelvin? Yeah, sure. The seat beside your husband is very comfortable, honey. Oh, come on, Mary. Leave and let's leave. It's not that deep now. Sandra, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? This is mm. so Ella, like You know what reminds me of school days? Do you remember how we used to sit in Love Garden? Ah, Kelvin, that's why you're my bestie. You right. get me like a twin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Aw, interesting. 
So what other positions do you remember apart from school sitting position, married woman? Mary? What? The last time I checked, we were still in a democracy. I have the right to speak my mind. Okay. You see, I wonder how you cope with all these things. Best friend is for married only. See, Mary, Gabriela and Kelvin were great friends before I proposed marriage to her, so I see no reason why they can't still be friends. Maybe Haven't we'll get you there. heard of the Lannisters? Mary, you know, whatever is in your head right now that you're protecting your brother from, that's how Kelvin protects me. Mm-hmm. And we are not all messed up, you know. Mm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> this has a lot of memories. Yeah. A lot of memories. So just sit down. You know? <laughs> no way, you're taking me home, okay? And don't tell me you want me to stay the night at yours. It's not going to happen. Really? Mm -hmm. Oi, hold on. <laughs> you must really think your lips taste like candy. Well, you call me honey, don't you? Well, I would have you know that your sugar-coated lips will not get me to stay the night. Come on, Sandra, let me take you to Sin City. Look, I'm tired of staying on the cover. Ooh, you're a bad girl. You're thinking handcuffs, right? You know what? My gun is cocked. <laughs> I'm not talking about that, silly. I'm talking about us. How come our friends don't know we're an item? Or I thought you're the one who wanted us to keep it away from them. That was then. Besides, Gabriella didn't leave me any choice. She's always so possessive about you. Look, Gabriella is like my sibling. She's my own biological sister. Are you sure about that? Do you really think she feels the exact same way about you? <laughs> what? I was practically there when she got married to Evans. She even wanted me to wear a gown to look like a bridesmaid. Thank God you were there. You saved me. Yeah, the gown may have looked really nice on you. <laughs> But the thing is, she actually named her son after you. Oh, that's not bad, because I'm also thinking of naming our daughter after her. What? Mm -hmm. No freaking way. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> so, do we say home it is? Please. Yes. No. Yes. I home it is. No. Home it is. <laughs> no, no way. Don't tell me you want me to stay the next. Oh, you you to come are in. going to drop me home. Okay, fine. I'll drop you off. Right after James. Mm -hmm. Promise? I promise. <laughs> the last time. Yeah, just come in. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what you told me. <laughs> Sandra Aze, the love of my life. Would you marry me? Baby, you're running late. There's nobody told me babysitting will be so much work. <laughs> Say only nice things before he hears you and starts crying. Auntie Angela better get here fast. I could really use the break. All right. Mm -hmm. See, give me before you stay in your shirts. I should, uh, maybe I should get going, eh? Yep. So go out there and show them that you are the super husband of a pretty woman. Hmm. Oh, before I get my good luck, yes. You know how it is. I love you. I love you too, dear. Uh, you know I could just die without you. Can I get out of here before I change my mind and put you back to bed? Oh, very tempting. But not today. <laughs> <laughs> 
Husband out. Baby asleep. What could best be doing? Son, <laughs> no work today. Yeah, it's just one of those lazy days. Okay, do you want to come over since you're not doing anything? Uh, Young man, who is distracting you from me? Uh, no, I, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, how about, how about dinner? Yeah, dinner when Evans is back home. Hmm, not a bad idea. You know, we should invite Sandra as well. Make it like a friend thing. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I would get her. I would. Because there's, um, there's something that you guys need to hear. We have a party then. All right, bye-bye. All right. Ciao. All to you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk me into walking. <laughs> it's such a beautiful night for us to be stuck in a car when Gabriella's house is just a stroll away. I hope we're doing the right thing. What is? You know, telling them, telling her. <laughs> you sound us. like you're meeting my mom for the first time. Oh, well, I am. In some ways, she represents your mom. Look, we are all friends, so it's more like a beautiful rectangle, if you ask me. So now we're a friendship rectangle. I just hope everything turns out okay. Oh, yeah, of course it will. I mean, look at it this way. Evans got married to Gabriella, and I get married to you. And that way, our kids will be able to maintain the love rectangle. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, everything is going to be fine, okay? I promise you. Okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. You know we have no lack of resources in this country. What we lack is patriots. People who genuinely love this nation and leadership. Yeah. Okay. These guys are just holding a fist on our heads. I believe they know the right thing to do. <sighs> And then maybe one of you should run for office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's definitely not me. Because I'm still contemplating how to start up my own life. And I don't have any spare. What do you mean start up your life? You think I don't want to start a family? Kelvin, do you have a girlfriend that you're hiding from us? Have you been sneaking, man? Well, she is sitting right here on this table. I asked Sandra to marry me, and she said yes. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> Surprise! Wait. You two have been seeing each other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have. Um, well, but we decided to keep it low. Uh, 
Um, I, I need to fill this up. Be right back. Now what for now? So you would have been an item and you didn't bother to tell the rest of the team. I mean, I thought we were a pack. Well, you have to move with a constructive script when you have a dramatic best friend. No. This is why you should have told her. You know how she can be with issues concerning you. I will definitely be hot if my bro gets engaged to another woman without informing me. You know what? I'll go speak with her. No, no, I don't think you should do that now. You get your chance, but for now, let's go into it. I thought you said you came to refill your cup. Well, I decided to quench another thirst. And unlike you, I don't sneak behind my friends. And I'm sorry. Well, you should be. I should have told you that I was seeing Sandra. Yes, you should have. So all the mother, mother that you call me is just what? Okay. Lip service? No, it's okay. I just wanted to be sure before I let the cat out. Well, the cat is scratching really hard at the door right now because it's long overdue to be let out. You see, this here is the reason why I had to be sure. You don't go planning an engagement without me and expect a pat on the back. Kelvin, this is the moment that we dreamt of and you just robbed me of it. Sandra and I wanted to tell you about it. What? We just didn't know how to tell you, considering how very sensitive you can be. Sandra is a member of the pack. I married a member of the pack and it's been wonderful. Why wouldn't I want that for you? Well, right now, you don't sound like you actually wanted that for me. Well, that's because I'm hurt. Hello, I'm that, sorry. That, I'm not talking to you. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Enough. Gabriela? Ella? Evans, okay, I'm sorry, okay? I know we should have told you, and um, I'm sorry we didn't. We should have valued the years that we've spent together and just told you. Listen, I'm not even going to deny the fact that I'm hurt. I am. And I feel betrayed. That line you're reading is Gabriella's. So you're reading the wrong script. Oh, God, there it is. Those are my lines. What you guys did is unfair. I mean, we practically carried you guys along when we were planning to leave the app. We are sorry, okay? We're truly sorry, okay? We really are. Maybe you guys will need to present a befitting offer. Which is? I don't know. We love beds, we'll figure out something. Be creative. Gabriela, would you give me a hug? Mm. Oh, Ella, way to go. <laughs> Only on one condition. Oh, yeah. Only if you allow me to pick your wedding dress. Now that's it. Let's just
Yeah. 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 Like you've had way too much wine. Yeah, <laughs> like never change, never I change. Agree. I agree. I agree. Just that. Um, Gabriela. Uh, Gabriel. Are you sure it's not postpartum stress disorder or something? I hope it's not postpartum depression now. You know you're acting like a jealous lover, right? Oh, please. What's all that drama about? Can you allow me to deal with my friend the way I deem fit? Like they're not my friends too. You know, when your sister Mary comes here to run her mouth all up in my business, you allow her. What has that even got to do with anything? Well, Kelvin is like a brother to me. He even calls me mother. So allow me to deal with my brother the way you deal with your sister. If I didn't know you better, I would think that you're having romantic feelings for Kelvin. You really need to watch your tongue, Evans. Yes, now, because first you made us name our baby after him. And now you can't stand the sight of the boy falling in love with another woman. Who happens to be your friend, our friend? You need to hush it before you say something that you regret. Ella! Thank you. 
Hold on, I'm coming. And why haven't you been answering my calls? Why would I pick up your calls when you've been acting like a wicked mother-in-law? That's a very cold thing to say. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't the one who fled up the other day. And I wasn't the one who proposed to somebody without telling his bestie. You know, it's this mother hen character of yours that makes it impossible for me to tell you things. Oh, you should have prepared me. Prepared you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would mean I would have to source for the ingredients. And that means I'd have to call heaven because we can't find the ingredients here on earth. Mm. Anyway, have you thought long and hard about this? Because marriage is really hard, and women can't be trusted. Hmm. I thought the same applies for men. <laughs> you know all those tantrums that women throw? Just a defense mechanism. When it comes to deceit, men are learners compared to women. And I should know. I'm a woman. <laughs> okay, so, Madam Woman, are you being deceitful right now? Talking badly about Sandra, your friend. Hey, hey, hey. All I'm doing is asking if you're sure about this relationship. If I wasn't sure, why would I even propose? I'm, I'm just looking out for you like a good bestie should. Okay, fine. Then as my bestie, I need you to accept my decision. Why are you talking like I want you and Sandra to feel? Of course I don't. You know how I feel about you. Yes, I know. I, you know, it means a lot to me. But instead of you just watching, I would appreciate if you would pray that this should work out. What do you think I've been doing? That's what I've been doing, silly. Hmm. Can we stop fighting now? Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Come here, darling. <laughs> That's much better. Well, you can strong face. It's you that was even strong face. You're just doing me anyhow. Okay, tell me, tell me, what do I give you? What do I give me, to I'm you? Me, I'm not a visitor. I'll go and get whatever I want when mm -hmm. I want. So, you guys allowed us go and get fitted for wedding dresses and do all that. When you don't even have a wedding date? Oh, yeah, that's because we're a pack. And I wanted a date that's convenient for every one of us. What does that even mean? <laughs> it means you and I, Kelvin and Evans, who come together and pick a date that mm -hmm. works for all of us. And then I can give it to my parents and make sure that we all present that mm -hmm. date. Because I don't want to hear stories, or you see. I don't want to hear, oh, I'm busy. I have something very important that day. You must be there. Bribery and corruption. <laughs> what do you expect from the daughter of a diplomat? <laughs> Besides, um, I'm sorry for keeping you in the dark. And now you're overcompensating? Well... Mm, oh. I have a question, though. What's going to happen to all your other boyfriends? <laughs> Come on now. You were shagging before he pops the question. You make it sound like I was a call girl in my former life. Oh, well. You didn't exactly take it easy with the fine boys, Miss Hardy. Whatever fine boys you're referring to are all history classes right now. And they're all in the past. I mean, I won't jeopardize happily ever after with Kevin for... For what? <laughs> Sandra, wait, 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 wait. How come none of us noticed this loyal love for Kelvin before now? It's always been there. You just weren't looking. Besides, you don't exactly make it easy when it comes to Kelvin. It's your mommy issues. Anyway, are you sure he's exclusive with you? Mm-hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> no, no. I'm just looking out for you. You know men are somehow. I don't know. I mean, we're exclusive, but... You know what? I don't really want to bother my head about that. 
mummy. <laughs> Hello, me. Wednesday. <laughs> like a weekday. Seriously? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> it has to be a weekend, man. I mean, when is Honestly. day? Wet, when is day? Oh, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> For real? Yeah. Though. No way. It has a ring to it. Has to be a weekend. No way. Let's look at um, 16th. Mm, that doesn't work for me. That's the day I have that Thanksgiving and it's really important. Oh. Okay, so let's do 23rd. Following Saturday. Oh no, 23rd doesn't work for me. No. Do you have something to do? Yeah, something. Bad for me too. It started then, Saturdays. Mm. What do you think? I have a work thing. Oh, I guess that removes the month of May then. Okay. Okay, okay. okay let's try June. Madam, with the way you are going about cancelling these dates, it is clearly obvious you don't want this wedding to hold. Well, the wedding has to be a pack thing. Yes, exactly. We have to decide. As a pack. <laughs> well, from my standpoint, the only wolf you have in your pack is her. Easy, Mary. This is family. And a wedding is between the family and the couple. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for that thing you just said. Family in this context means your parents and siblings. Thank you. Trouble. <laughs> You know why you are so bitter? It's because you don't understand the concept of family. Family has nothing to do with blood and everything to do with loyalty. Besides, whatever date we all agree on will be communicated to their respective parents. Mm -hmm. That's right. Brother, did you just hear your wife call me bitter? Wait, 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 wait. Who even invited you here, Seth? I don't know. Who? This is for friends only and you are not a member of our pack. Yep. Yeah. For all we know, you're the one that is jinxing our ability to settle on a date. Well, you are the one doing voodoo here. If the rest of you are not so blinded by this pack nonsense, you will know that she doesn't want this wedding to hold. Hey. This witch doesn't want this wedding to hold at hey, all. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Mary, that's my wife. And Gabriella, that's my sister. Recipe for some mutual respect, if you ask me. Let's go back to getting dates. Brother, yeah. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. So let's see if we can. Go in. Wait. Oh, Mary. Let me, let, let, me, let me quickly see how. Yeah, well, as long as you don't feel bad when we set on a date without you. Is this what you have to put up with? Okay, let's, let's go back. Okay, guys. Yeah. So what I give up. I don't know. I hand it over um, to you. 13th? Mm. That's a Saturday. Isn't 13 like an unlucky number? No. Really? Yes. That's going to be your anniversary, mm. like June. And you believe in that? Yeah, well, yeah. Mary, wait. Well, I thought you wouldn't see me off since your wife has you under her claws. Okay, Mary, you have to take it easy with Gabriella. Unlike you, she cherishes relationships and values friendship. Where is my brother again? Because I obviously don't understand this part. Brother, can't you open your eyes and see? Can't you see that your wife is in love with another man? They are just friends. Is that so hard for everyone to come by? Okay, so how do you explain naming your first son, your first son, Kelvin Jr.? What happened to Evans Jr.? Isn't it your dream for you to name your first son after you? Kelvin will always be family, either you like it or not. Okay then, you might as well lay your wife on the bed, spread her legs and direct the sticks in between her legs since you want to be a gracious oh, family stop man. Stop the nonsense talk, Mary. Stop it. Mark my words. There will be no wedding date for that too. Not when Gabriella is with the Maka. There will be no wedding date. I want to go. Okay. We have a 
date, people. Oh yes. yeah, we yes. have a date. Twentieth <laughs> of June. Oh wow, it's That's going down. It's month away, eh? Yeah, that yeah. gives enough time to prepare. What do you think? Wow, just perfect. Yeah, mm. exactly. So cheers to the pack. To the pack. To the pack. Yeah. Black wedding, y'all. Yeah. Mm. Start making plans, yeah? Yeah, so like a Ketra, Deco person. Mm. Oh, I know her name, Sido. Do I you guys have any halls in mind? Do you, what do you guys even uh, want? Like an indoor well, I wedding? I think we all wedding? should go for like a retreat, you know? Hello. Retreat? Yeah. When is it supposed Planning to be a wedding? Are we going for the honeymoon? Yeah, we should like, I mean, after the wedding, we'll, oh, yeah, we, we have to plan wedding everything first. together. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you want like an indoor or an outdoor wedding? I want an outdoor wedding. Outdoor, right? Find the water. Is it? Is it no, now it's in June. In June? Oh, I mean, not in June. Yes, it rains. So what well, I don't mean? know anything about venues. Um, if you want an MC, so if you want DJ, uh, don't worry, I'll handle that. You can't trust me with that. Venue? I would handle venue. What, wait, what am I doing in this wedding? You. You have to give me something. You're doing, something. You're doing every other thing, oh, yeah. apart from DJs and MCs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's terrible, mm -hmm. man. That's the whole idea. Now, do you expect me to do everything? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna handle it. When my day yeah, is. Let's laugh now. What was she thinking? Auntie, isn't it obvious? The man that she's in love with is about to walk down the aisle with another woman. And obviously, Auntie Married Woman can't take it. So she tries to kill herself? Yes, so. Ah, uh, my nephew obviously married the wrong girl. Right. See, brother, you heard Auntie now. Hmm? 
Me, I don't know the kind of spell this woman has cast on you. But now is the best time for you to free yourself. Free yourself, oh. Evans, send her packing out of your house before she kills you. Eh, these things are very familiar. I have seen them severally, and they usually don't end well. May we not bury our children, no? I think you should stop your sister from coming here for now. She can't be meddling in affairs that she does not understand. She's my sister. I can't stop her. Oh, really? So you would rather she suffocates me? You know, maybe we should talk about last night. You almost got hit by a truck. Why would you even discuss that with her? Why? That was not your story to tell. Our death linen should be washed within these walls. Uh, I was overwhelmed. And I'm going to bed. I'm sorry I contacted you on short notice, but I really need your skills. Which of my skills? I know you to be a photographer with excellent Photoshop skills, or am I wrong? That skill. <laughs> That's right. Um, I mean, I can Photoshop anything to look like anything. Good. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. That's just the skill I need. Hello, fish. What up? Hey, bestie. What are you up to? Hmm. Something nasty. Ooh. Tell me about it. Well, um, 
thinking of getting some flowers and ice cream and sending it over to Sandra's workplace. Mmm, that's so romantic. You know, Anna, I love her. Mm-hmm. I know. I can see that. Should we hang out at Seasons Lounge tonight? Uh, sure thing. You want us to have some bestie moments? Yay! <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. <laughs> All right, yeah. See you soon then. Bye. So much benefits. Oh. So much for getting married. No, Ella. Honestly, I do not know that girl. Well, considering the way she just smooched you, I find that very difficult to be. I don't know her. Listen, I will not let you break my friend's heart. If you have to play games, then keep it outside the group. This is no game. I don't believe you. And I won't be a part of this. What the hell just happened now? Hey, boss. Boss, you look like someone who will soon be getting married, man. Look, I'm a photographer and I want to show you some of my work. Listen, guy, I can't be bothered by that right now. No, 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 just take a look, take a look. Come on, just take a look. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at these pictures, man. What do you think about it? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's uh, one of my jobs. <laughs> Where? At an engagement party. See this lady? She got engaged and the party, man, was one of the best I've ever attended this year. Sandra. Why the hell would she play with my heart like this? I mean, Sandra got engaged and none of us knew about it. Yeah, well, she got engaged to Kevin and we didn't know, so I wouldn't put it past her. I mean, what have I done to deserve this? What? Wait, uh, Kevin, whose idea was it to keep your relationship on the wraps? It was hers. She said that Gabriella would not be ready for such. You see? You see how she used my brotherly affection towards you as a weapon? You see? Meanwhile, um, have you confronted her? No, look, I, I don't think I'll be able to face her after this. Oh, no, you should. You should confront her and get some closure. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you're holy yourself. Oh, Calvin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come here, come here. You'll be okay. I'm sorry. Don't worry, you'll be okay, okay? You'll be okay. Yeah? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Be fine, I'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Evans, I've been calling you. I've been oh. calling you. Come on, come on, sit down. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. Sure, you don't want something cold. It make you feel better. I'm fine, Ella.
babe. <laughs> you would not believe what the event planner and I got up to today. What happened? You sounded off over the phone. Are you okay? Explain this. What on earth have I done to deserve this kind of treatment from you? Babes, this is not me. Who is if you're not the one? By all means, explain to me who it is. Because I am losing my mind. I, I've never been to this place. I don't even know who this person is. It is hard to believe you when there's a picture here clearly stating otherwise. Look, darling, you have to believe in me, okay? Yes, I am trying to believe you. That is why I called you here. And that is why I am begging you to explain to me. How do you expect me to explain something I know nothing of? Where did you even get this picture from? Sandra. If you're not going to explain to me, just leave my house. Kevin. You're being unreasonable right now. And you are breaking my heart. Just let me explain. Just, just, just go. Go. <laughs> Sandra, leave! Oh, Kevin, you need to... I'm telling you, I saw him kissing a girl. So you think they're both cheating? I don't know what to think at this point. These people might not really be in love. Though. They might just be trying to copy us. Copy us? Yeah. That's ridiculous. What the hell is going on? Someone has some explanation to do. Where did engagement pictures of me come from? Uh, uh, okay. I'm guessing Kelvin has confronted you. Yes, he did. He confronted me with lies. Useless and baseless lies. But the real question is, Gabriela, are you the one behind this? Are you the one trying to spoil my relationship with Kelvin? Stop talking nonsense. Okay. Then who? Who? Who else? Who will be trying to make it look like I'm playing games? Maybe his girlfriend. What girlfriend? Oh, I saw him kissing a girl yesterday and he really seemed to like it. You're kidding, right? Or maybe Kelvin doctored the picture by himself. You know, maybe he's not sure he wants to marry you as there's another girl in the picture. Then, if he's the one, he must be one hell of a con artist for painting this baseless and useless picture of deceit and... You know what? Okay. All right. Let's play. Okay. Hello? And what stupid games are you playing? No, no, no. You listen to me. Baby inside, and I don't want my auntie coming out here to shut you up. 
and tell him to own up to his own lies. It's you who needs to own up. But guys, really, what if this was all a setup? Yes, a setup from his girlfriend, his side chick, from somebody else. I just hope you had nothing to do with this. Because if you did, I would never forgive you. Oh, please. Ella, I'm serious Ella. about this. I would forgive you. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Give her a break now. Give her a break. Santa! Look, Santa, I do not move. Wait, wait, Santa, wait. Santa, I didn't kiss her. She kissed me. I don't know which is more annoying. The fact that you had a girlfriend and you're lying about it. Or the fact that you asked me to marry you. When you don't even trust me. I can't do forever after with, with someone who will so easily turn his back on me. Take your ring. Sandra, what are you doing? Sandra! This a dream or am I lost in a trance? It all seems like I've lost all my senses. Searched for love, but for more than I could bear. Try to numb the pain, but my eyes still feel the tears. I've been waiting my whole life for this love to find me. Now it breaks my own heart. This love life causing me misery. I want to fix the wings to fly so high. How do I do the things to fly? Tracks are all gone bad, flights are all crowded, lost in the dark, praying for lights on. I've been waiting my whole life for this love to find me. Now it breaks my own heart, this love life causing me misery. Oh, I want to fix this way. Fly so high. How do I fix this wind to fly so high? I want to fix this wind to fly so high. How do I fix this wind to fly? Is this a dream or am I lost in a trance? It all seems like I've lost all my senses. Searched for love, but for more than I could bear. Try to numb the pain, but my eyes still feel the tears. I've been waiting my whole life for this love to find me. Now it breaks my own heart. This love life causing me misery. I want to fix the wings to fly so high. How do I have to fly? My head is on fire. 
eyes are open now. Spirit so long to fight on. Tracks are gone bad. Flights are grounded. Lost in the dark. Bama. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm looking for a photographer usually frequents here. A lot of photographers frequent here often. Yeah, but this one is he's, he's tall and he has a very funny accent. But he's pretty good at what he does. When I told you that there will be no wedding date, you thought my mouth was smelling. Yeah, there's a wedding date. Ah, uh, unless you and your wife that want to die for another man are planning to approach the altar again. What's I'm talking about? Ah, uh, Kelvin didn't tell you. Tell me what? Sandra returned his ring. What am I even saying? Sandra threw his ring back at him. It shocked you. How, how would you even know that? I called to check on Sandra. Oh, wow. Brother. Hmm? Be like Sandra. Return the ring. Or better still, call your wife to order. Warn her and that her best friend are not touching, but they should be allowed. Mary, let me handle my wife, okay? You're meddling to my affairs and it's annoying. Ah. But why are you not bothered? Are you impotent? Ah. Is Kelvin helping you down there? Why would you even say that, Mary? Ah, because you said that he's instrumental to the delivery of the child. Mary, Kelvin only donated blood when my wife and my baby were passing out in the delivery room. You know these things now, you just playing dumb. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's not sufficient. See, brother, I insist you do a paternity test. If there's something you're not telling me, I allow your nonsense in this house because of your brother. But if you dare disrespect my son, I'll show you the way out. This is a family discussion. But since you've decided to involve yourself, it's fine. The truth is always a bitter pill to swallow. Gabriela, you are in love with your best friend, Kelvin. I said what I said, period. It's time for you to go. I am not going anywhere. Get out of my house. Oh. So you can secretly kill my only brother since you couldn't kill yourself. Yeah, you won't just shut up. Evans, if your sister doesn't leave this minute, this house will fall. Hmm. Just like the way Kelvin's banana fell on you. You slash. I am not going anywhere. Babe. Aren't you going to do anything about this? I 
So, what do you want me for, Rolf? How did you get that picture? The picture of my girlfriend and some other guy all dressed in the traditional, like some engagement or something. The one you showed me the other day that I got kissed. I can't tell you. Dude, my relationship is under the bridge. You're a man like me, you should know how that feels. How much are you going to pay me for the information you need? I mean, you are a big boy. Big, big boy. Are you willing to do what big boys do? They pay. <laughs> <clears throat> Two hundred thousand naira. That's if the information is good. Pay me the two hundred thousand naira, and I tell you exactly what you want to know. No, I would have to first confirm that it is useful. All right. This is Lagos. Lagos money for hand back for grand. <laughs> How do I know you're not know, going wrong after I give you the information you want? You see that, that? But there's no reason for this meeting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'll give you proof. I am waiting. The picture was photoshopped. I never said the picture was photoshopped. I'm telling you the picture was photoshopped. How do I know the picture was photoshopped? It's because I photoshopped the picture myself. And uh, that day I had two clients. One, the money was huge. The other, the money was good. I need more. Money first. I said, I need more. I can tell you, you have been set up. And I know by who. <clears throat> is it Gabriella? Hmm? Who is that? The lady whose child had a name in. Ah. You said you had two clients that day. That one. The money was good. Thank you. My money. Give me your details. Details. to disrespect my wife. One of us has to see through her schemes. You'll have to apologize. Else you won't be welcome here anymore. What did I do? I was only telling the truth. Yes, and you can't shut your door on me, oh. Then apologize. But I was telling the truth. Gabriella, how could she do this to us? How could she do this to me? Do what? What are you on about? I'm on about your wife, Gabriella. She paid a photographer to photoshop my picture into that of an engagement picture. And then she got a total stranger, a slut, I don't even care who she is, to kiss my man, Kevin. <coughs> hey, you see? The truth is finally out! <laughs> 
God has vindicated me. What's going on? How could you? How could you? You of all people should be happy for me. Who's arguing otherwise? Then why the hell would you try to separate myself and Kevin? Isn't it obvious? The girl is in love with the dude. <laughs> if you don't shut up, I will slap you into oblivion. Sure, all this grabra will not help you. You don't shit for church. I told you that I would not forgive you. Forgive me for what? I didn't do anything wrong. Of course you have done nothing wrong. All the pain that you have put me through has been nothing wrong. All the pain you have put Sandra through has been nothing wrong, right? What are you talking about? Do not try to deny it. I spoke to your friend, the photographer, and he told me everything. You know what, Kelvin? If you can just walk in here and try to crucify me without first trying to find out what is going on, then you might as well stop being my best friend. Ah, loving you like your brother is not a crime. Oh, please. Practicing true friendship, irrespective of gender, is not supposed to be a crime. Gabriella, do not try to talk your way out of this. Yes, we deserve an explanation. No, you both deserve to get the hell out of my house. You know what, Ella? You see this friendship that we have nurtured and held so dear for years? It just sealed out right now. Come on, Kelvin. Oh, get out of my house! It's over. And don't come back! You should be divorcing this woman. Ah! Hey, God. <laughs> he paid me two hundred thousand naira for information. I didn't tell him that your wife was the one who uh, told me to do the Photoshop. I told him that she asked to use my services. So, I'm sorry I contacted you on short notice, but I really need your skills. Which of my skills? I know you to be a photographer with excellent Photoshop skills, so am I wrong? That skill. <laughs> That's right. Um, I mean, I can Photoshop anything to look like. Anything. Good. I'm happy to hear that. That's just the skill I need. So this is my brother Kelvin, and he'll be getting married very soon. I want to do him a photo book that'll be totally out of this world. It will blow everyone away. Yeah. So I need some of their pre-wedding pictures to be edited to include the things that matter to him. Um, should we say I want to do a fairy tale photo book? Oh, like animals? Well. Kelvin really likes birds, so maybe a picture of him and his wife feeding birds would be really nice. You know, just some creative editing to include nature, that kind of thing. I can assure you, you have contacted the right person. <laughs> so you saw 200k and decided to play against my wife? I told him I had two clients contact me that day. He only assumed that your wife asked me to do the job. So I need you to call Kelvin. I can't have him thinking that my wife is trying to separate him from the love of his life when clearly she's not. Oh, so I should say it is you. It is you that did what? <laughs> what are you doing here, Mary? What do you mean, what am I doing here? This place is open to the public. And what is he talking about? It won't cost you anything more than money. Money is not a problem. You just do your thing. Tonight. I am a professional. You are lying. Don't tell me you set Kelvin and Sandra's relationship to fail. I did. I thought you would be happy that your wife, male best friend, is finally out of the way. Well, that's it. I don't want Kelvin out of the way. I don't. Why? Is he... Kelvin's father? Is he a sperm donor? Are you impotent? Because that is the only reasonable explanation oh, to all this. For God's sake, Mary. Kelvin is not the father of my child. 
Did that witch put you up to this? No. Gabriela didn't put me up to this. If any reason, she's suffering more from this whole fiasco. This is so we need you, Evans. Well, I did it for a good reason. You know what? Uh, <clears throat> I have more important things to do, okay? So I will take my leave. Thank you for the drink. Huh? I'm driving to Kelvin's. Mary, hold on. You need to approach this with caution. You know how Gabriela can be. Evans, you better beat me to it. Because I am going to spill. You know me. I will spill bad. Hey! Mary. Mary. Hey! Hey. Hey. Want a picture? I need you to follow me. Madam. Look, my name is Mary. The mother of Jesus would never ask a man to follow her home. Excuse me? Look, I'm not a gigolo, but you are a fine, fine baby. I can follow you anywhere in the world if you want me to. As long as you are not a ritualist and <laughs> you can pay up front. I am Evan's sister, silly. So, you want me to follow you to go and tell his story? Mm-hmm. No, he doesn't have to come. <laughs> but we need to hear the undiluted truth from the horse's mouth. And I can be your willing horse if the price is right. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. So, can we go now? <laughs> we haven't talked price, though. You didn't tell her. <laughs> Okay, we'll talk along the road. Well, I insisted he comes here and tell the truth himself. Oh. <clears throat> um, hello, everyone. Um, I, based on my current arrangement, I am here to tell a story. Um, <clears throat> actually, I, um, I was the one that photoshopped the picture. Yes, that's what I do. And <clears throat> also, I was the one who formed that um, beautiful damn cell that Evans used to kiss Kelvin. Wait, 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 wait. You mean I paid you 200,000 Naira for this information, but instead you gave me something else? Kelvin, you're a smart guy, you know. Uh, you, your problem is that you always ask the wrong questions, and... You know, I, I, I never lied to you. I said the truth. And my line of work is based on precision. You, you have to be precise. You know? Who exactly are you? Well, so uh, you all know my line of work, the service I offer. Uh, just in case in the future you want to use me, I am quite uh, discreet. Uh, you can confide in me because I will keep your... Just, just, just shut up. Just sh shut it right there. Evans, you mean you got me to tell Kelvin to come to the lounge when you had this nonsense plan in motion? Bro, why would you do such a thing? Why? I didn't want little Kelvin growing up without a mom. And what does... I don't understand. How does it make sense? The dreams are back. And every day, for the last four months, how does my relationship with Kelvin affect you and your dreams? Like, make it make sense. I don't get it. What dreams? What are you guys even talking about? Her twin brother. Her twin what? What twin? I had a twin brother that died when I was a teenager. We were very close and we shared a special bond. After he died, he started coming to me in my dreams. Don't make me dying, Gabriel. Dying is not so bad. It's just like sitting and waking up somewhere else. I don't want to leave mom and dad alone. Gabriel, we came in together, so we should go out together. That 
Bell, you have to go without me. Mommy and Daddy can't lose us both. <sighs> Why does he not listen to me? We would have long conversations and even play together. But the things that were happening in my dreams were also happening in real life. And so it got really dangerous. I started sleepwalking. One night I sleepwalked into a river and I almost drowned. Another night, I sleepwalked right into the middle of the road and I almost got hit by a car. The driver of the car had to take me home. I became very sick and the doctors didn't know what was wrong with me. My parents soon understood that it was more spiritual than physical. And it took the help of a priest to get me back on my feet. Free your child from the afflictions of his enemies. Gabriel stopped coming for a while. But as I got older, he started coming again. Wait, so that night you almost got hit by a truck? That was... Well, that was my wife sleepwalking to her own death. Hey! <laughs> Bro, this is your wife's backstory and it's very cinematical. <laughs> well, why didn't you tell me? It was a story to tell, don't you think? Uh, well, how does it concern Kelvin? When Kelvin and I became really good friends, Gabriel's appearances in my dreams reduced. He came to me in my dream one night and he told me that he liked my new friend. He said that he had a large heart and he would protect me. And that's exactly what Kelvin turned out to be. A protector with a very large heart. A very good friend. How sweet. Boy, if he possesses all those qualities you just mentioned, why didn't you marry him? Eh, you know. Because it's incest to become romantically involved with your own brother. Hmm. Hmm. Mado. <laughs> Mado? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, <clears throat> now that the mood is a little lighter, you know, I, I thought I saw you smiling. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, what I want to say is that uh, your story is quite interesting and you can make a lot of money from your story. I'm telling you, you people want to know my secret service side, right? <laughs> I'm also a filmmaker, <laughs> I'm a producer, I'm an actor, you know. Uh, we talk about acting, RMD, Ramsey, <laughs> they are small boys. Uh, production and films, I can help you make a lot of money from your story. As a producer, who do you want to name? Uh, Tunde, Kalani, Ozu, Chuku. <laughs> what's, what's her name, that lady? Uh, mo, 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 mo. What are you still doing here? Out. Uh, it's time to leave now. You can leave now. Eh? I'm telling her she can make money. Out! Out! Yeah, right. <laughs> Out. Uh, Yo, man. Hope you enjoy the case. The baby's still available. If you like her. <laughs> <laughs> I know you enjoyed the case, my brother. <laughs> Wait, so, uh, Gabriel, he started showing up. What was he saying? Nothing yet. I think it's because you are drifting away. But I am not. Oh, really? So, how did you explain it? Applying an engagement without your friends. Or dating one of your friends without letting the others in on it. Oh, please, please, do not put this on us. It is back because of both of you. Wow. Are you guys really having best friends fight right now? Shut, Shut up. up! It looks like married people to me. Shut, Shut the, the hell, hell up! Look, 
Ella, you should know that I am not always going to be there for you. And why not? Why do we have to throw away such a beautiful and priceless bond of friendship? Because of marriage. See, human beings are social beings. We're like wolves. We move together as a pack. We should be able to support each other. But that's what marriages are meant for. But that's where you get it all wrong. Human beings are always quick to judge and throw away relationships. Just because we're not related by blood doesn't mean we can't support each other. Being there for one another is such a beautiful thing. <clears throat> well, I think that is for only married people. That phrase for only married people. That's a very warped way of thinking. We all must learn to love and support each other with or without any romantic ties. Well, that doesn't give them any right to toil with my happiness. You know what? I really need to clear my head. Kelvin. 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 Well, I think you should just stay on your own. Leave them alone. You did. Look. You know we're not entirely without blame, right? It is not our fault that we fell in love. So what are we supposed to do now? Love exclusively? Oh, come on, Sandra. You sound like we're having a groupie or something. I mean, how do we throw away years of friendship just because we've fallen in love? It's not like you exactly have my ring on your finger. Well, you're not exactly handling this situation correctly. You hurt me. You hurt me when, when I found out that you didn't trust me. The truth is, it's not that I don't trust you. I just have my own fears. Fears? What fears? Fears of losing you. Look, we need to go back to the sitting room. And that will be done only when you put my ring on your finger. Okay. Okay, what? <laughs> um, I'm wearing the ring. I don't see it. That's because I returned it and you have it. And it's not on you. Because it's, I'm wearing it in my heart. What? That's so sweet. You really shouldn't have. So you rather I watch you sleep away like um, you're watching them sleep away right now? I'm not sorry for putting up a fight. And um, if this situation presents itself again, I will do exactly the same thing. You know, it's hard to admit it, but this bond of friendship that you guys share, it's priceless. Yeah. Seems to be forced by dreams of Gabriel. Mm -mm. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think that your brother, Gabriel, helped you to find true friendship. But this beautiful bond is all you. It's all on you guys. But it's just so much drama. And that drama solidifies the bond. Well, I understand that my brother is a little out of line, but it's what a fight. 
I'm not so sure anymore. You know, there's a friend that stick closer than a brother. Fight for that friendship with your teeth and your claws if you have to. Bella. You are a very special woman that is greatly misunderstood. And the chief on that misunderstanding list is me. I am truly sorry. I know you are. <laughs> right. So go get them, Wolverine. So are you going to stand there and watch her do it alone? I miss you. And I missed you more. <clears throat> I'm, I'm really sorry to interrupt. Um, listen, I don't want to lose a sister. And I can't lose another brother. I won't survive it. But you make it feel like this bond of friendship we have is based on your fear of Gabriel. A wise woman once told me that this has nothing to do with Gabriel. And she was right. All Gabriel did was point us in the direction of a pure bond of friendship. And we got here through mutual loyalty, love, respect, and forgiveness. That wasn't Gabriel, that was us. True, she's right. Well, I guess I still need um, trustworthy people that can call on to when she steps out of line. <laughs> <laughs> and who do I run to when you step out of line? The same people, baby. The same people. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you know, you know what the truth is? I would never, ever trade this circle for anything in the whole world. Not like the other child. <laughs> Oh, oh, please, oh, Evan, don't oh, use your head to rub my beard. Oh, <laughs> the way you show me love, oh, standing here to take, want to be with you, cause I feel so safe with you, want to share my life with you, spend my whole life with you. So this is the first time I'm experiencing a celebration of true friendship and trust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am taking notes. <laughs> you guys taught me what true friendship is about. Mm -hmm. And the lessons, I will hold on to it for the rest of my life. <laughs> you better. You know, you're free to join the pack, right? Uh-uh. Can't you see? I've got my membership card already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since you guys have given me the honors of priesthood for this occasion, I shall be reading the vows. You may all rise and repeat after me. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. I do solemnly vow. I do solemnly vow. To always have your back like a spine. To always, to always have, have your, your back, back like a spine. To always hold you up like a pillar. To always hold you up like a pillar. I hereby vow to always give you a shoulder to lean on. I hereby vow to always give you a shoulder to lean on. And oh yes, you can lean on me for I will always be your friend. Some friends would fight. Some would cry. Some would never give you up. But here's a piece of advice. Stick to them. For friendship is our maker's support system to humanity. It is a rare gift with a note that reads, you don't have to walk alone. Say cheese! I got a new photographer! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something. <laughs> All right, let's cut the cake, the cake, the cake. <laughs> yeah. All right, people. Time to cut the cake. For friends only. Without you, baby, I was so lost till you came and found me.
Show me love. The way you show me love.